Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding. If you really like my videos, please press the like button, share the videos with your friends, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates. In the last videos, I have discussed about the go back and protocol and even I have discussed about the cumulative acknowledgement and independent acknowledgement. I hope you have watched those videos. If you still have any doubts related to that video, feel free to ask me in the comment section. In this video, I want to discuss about selective repeat protocol. In shortcut, people will call it as SR protocol. Okay, let me discuss about selective repeat protocol. Okay, now you can ask me the thing, sir, whenever you are saying the sliding window protocols, we need to talk two things. One is the sender window size and the receiver window size. If the sender window size is n, sender window size is n, then receiver window size is also will be n. Okay, receiver window size is also n. When it comes to the go back n, the sender window size is n and receiver window size is 1. However, in selective repeat protocol, the size of the sender window and the receiver window size will be equal. However, they should not be equal to 1. If it be equal to 1, then it will be stop and wait protocol. Am I right? So, this n value should be greater than 1. It should not be equal to 1. If it is equal to 1, it will become a stop and wait protocol. So, the n value should be greater than 1. And what kind of acknowledgement it will take it is? It will use the independent acknowledgement strategy. We already discussed what is an independent acknowledgement strategy and cumulative acknowledgement strategy. Go back and uses the cumulative acknowledgement strategy and selective repeat uses the independent acknowledgement strategy. So now let me discuss the selective repeat protocol with a small example so that you will understand the concept in a better way. Now let's take that sender is there and receiver is there. Sender want to send some six packets. Okay, let's make it. It want to send nine packets. Zero to eight, it is nine frames it want to send. Let's take that sender window size is three. Okay, sender window size is three. And what will be the receiver window size? Receiver window size is also 3. Now, what will happen? Sender will send the all the frames which are there in the window one by one. Okay, so frame number 0, frame number 1 and frame number 2. And it will wait for a timeout timer for each acknowledgement for each frame. Now, Let's take that frame number 0 has been received. Okay. Frame number 0 has been received. Then acknowledgement will be sent. Okay. For the particular frame, independent acknowledgement will be sent. Now the receiver is waiting for the frame number 1 and frame number 2. Let's take that frame number 1 is received. Then again it will send the acknowledgement. Then what will happen? He This side we forgot. This side what will happen? Once the frame number 0 acknowledgement has been received and frame number 1 acknowledgement is received. Now the window will be slided and it will send the frame number 3 and frame number 4. Am I right or wrong? And receiver also slide window slide also will increase meaning is that it will slide not increase. Okay. It will slide and currently it is waiting for the frame number 2 frame number 3, frame number 4. Let's take that frame number 2 is not delivered to the destination or to the receiver. However, in the meantime, frame number 3 and frame number 4 has been delivered. Okay. When it comes to the go back and in this situation, what will happen? If the frame number 2 was not delivered to the destination, in the meantime, frame number 3 has been 
delivered and frame number 4 is also delivered. What the go back and will do? It will not accept the out of order packet because it is waiting for the frame number 2. So it will only accept the frame number 2. If frame number 3 and frame number 4 comes, it will neglect them and it will not consider them. Whereas coming to the select to repeat, can you guess what it will do? It will accept those frames. It will accept the frame number 3 and frame number 4 and it will send the acknowledgements. Okay, then in, in the meantime, if the timeout timer is completed for the frame 2, then what will happen? The sender will understand that the acknowledgement has been not delivered for the frame number 2. Then it will resend only this frame. Are you able to understand? It will send only the frame number 2. However, it is in the go back end, we have to resend the frame number 2, frame number 3, frame number 4. However, in the selective repeat protocol, whatever the packet has been lost or for whatever the frame, you did not receive the acknowledgement from the receiver within the timeout timer, those frames only you have to resend. So, the number of retransmissions is less in selective repeat as compared to the go back end. So, I can say that selective repeat protocol will accept the out of order packets. Okay. It will accept the out of order packets. Now, what is the problem with the selective repeat protocol? Here you have to sort them because you have received the frame number 3, frame number 4, then you are receiving the frame number 2, you have to sort them. Here you have to search the frame number 2. Are you able to understand from the sender point of view, you have to search for which frame you have not received the acknowledgement. At the receiver side, you have to use the sorting algorithm. Okay, so it will accept the out of order packets also and the number of retransmissions is less. Okay, now how many sequence numbers are required? Okay, the number of sequence numbers is as I said earlier, it is sender window size plus the receiver window size. In the selective repeat protocol, the sender window size if it is n, receiver window size is also n. So, you need minimum 2 into n sequence numbers. Then what will be the sequence numbers bits? It is log 2n base 2 of seal. These many sequence bits are required. These many sequence numbers are required. And you can ask me what is the efficiency of selective repeat protocol? The efficiency is what is the total time? 1 plus 2a. How many frames you are sending? When it comes to the stop and wait protocol, it is 1 plus 1 upon 1 plus 2a. This is the stop and wait protocol efficiency. What is the efficiency of selective repeat? Within the total time 1 plus 2a, how many frames you are sending? You are sending n frames, where n is the window size. What about the go back n? Go back n efficiency also 1, n by 1 plus 2a because within the 1 plus 2a time you are sending the n frames. So, the efficiency of go back n and selective repeat is same. However, the stop and wait protocol is less. So, that is why we will use the go back n compared to the stop and wait and why we does not use the selective repeat is that it is complex. It looks very simple but for implementing it is a complex one whereas go back and is better or easy as compared to the implementing the selective repeat protocol and the efficiency of the go back and is more than the stop and wait protocol. So in real time we will go for the go back and protocol. I hope you have understood what is the selective repeat protocol and how many window size of the sender and what is the receiver window size and how many sequence numbers are required how many sequence bits are required and what is the efficiency and why it is complex also we have discussed. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. If you really like my videos, 
please press the like button share the videos with your friends subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button thank you for watching my video have a nice day